Hi guys, it's W and guess what? I'm going to do another 24 by 48 size painting. A nice big one. I am going to use, it's going to be a, uh, I am going to use a lot of fluid paints. I, I don't know where it's going to end. It just depends on, um, uh, it depends on what it calls for as I'm making the painting. You, as an artist, you know how that works. If it calls you in a direction, you change your mind. You may have a, a plan, but Sometimes that plan gets changed. I do have a plan as always, but guess what? My plans always <laughs> change. I'll start off with colors I know that I'm going to do, use, and then and I'll say I'm going to use just a, a one or two of the colors, and then I um, change my mind because I just don't feel it looks good with, you know, whatever it is I got. Anyway, so this is a huge one. Um, bought this canvas at, at Michael's, and um, it's all I really have near me. Near me, I um, I live down here in the big South Megatropolis of Miami, but um, I have to travel quite a ways to get something. So Michael's the closest place around. Uh, anyways, here we go. So. I don't put any, I'm not going to put anything on it, but I am going to, you know, other than my paints as I'm painting. So I'm going to pull this down. I'm going to do the first part of this painting with mainly just my hands. Um, I, I do like to get my hands on the paint, I mean with gloves and that. I don't know what it is, but um, it's just how I am. So this is going to start off mainly me just globbing on some paint. And, um, well, I might pour a little bit on here and there and just to get it started. So, you'll see, you'll get the idea where it's going to head. I don't want to put too much on to begin with, but I'm going to, it's kind of like finger painting at this point. Now, sometimes I like to get the canvas just full of paint and then come back and, um, have more of a direction because after I put the painting on, paint on, whoop, whoop, um, then I get a good idea. So, you know, with abstract paintings, it's really hard to start off with a complete plan. And I rarely have a complete, I mean, it really goes that way. I have a plan when I start and then it looks so different and it's like, oh, that's not what I wanted. That's not what I wanted. Um, so I'm going to finger paint in a way right now I'm, and just grabbing some paints I have that are mixed up. I'm just going to put some on here. And then once it gets a little bit more of a direction. me guys I just touched my face so guess whose face has got paint on it <laughs> I guess I'm right-handed today <laughs> all right let's put some let's grab pop some of this paint I haven't done a whole lot of painting lately, you guys. Um, sometimes life just keeps you busy in so many directions. You don't always get to do what you love. I mean, I'm doing other things I guess I love, but... Have you guys out there like to use your hands a lot? I do. <laughs> I 
I need to stop. Before I started wearing gloves, my hands were full. But now, because um, I'm out in the public and people see my hands, I can't. I try and not to uh, have so much paint in my nails right now. <laughs> so... It's moving along pretty fast right now, isn't it? I love it. I love to get the canvas just full of paint. So. Just get that off there. Get some out of there. It's kind of a glob of paint. I haven't covered for a little bit. That might be why. And had everything ready to go a little while ago and got distracted a little bit. Some other things came up. <laughs> now about this time, as I'm filling it in, it's getting, it's going into a direction, and you know, your brain's starting to think, oh, you know, maybe this will look good there, or that will look good here, then at the beginning, because a lot of times at the beginning, you just have a general idea of what's going to happen, and that's me. I usually figure if I drop something somewhere, maybe it's meant to be to try to work it in, work with it a little bit. So that's what a lot of times I will do. I usually figure, oh, it's meant to be there. So, you know, I try to look at it as, as a happy accident. I think that's a quote of Bob Ross. He used to have happy accidents, remember? <laughs> so... Here. Have to be careful not to bump other paints. At least a lot of these aren't really super, super Now, when I'm using black, 
and I did put some black on. Um, I try to say black, you know, rather just certain. When I'm going to use it, I try to kind of bring it in mostly near the end. And not that that's what works for you, but for me. So now I've kind of got a lot of my background in and right now I'm feeling this painting needs a little movement, a little more whoo. And that's, you know, for me, I don't, I don't know how to explain this because what I'm, this is what I'm feeling to do. So I'm doing it. <laughs> So now for some black. Oh god, hopefully I have thicker black here. I'll try this. So, now that could be considered a happy accident, right? <laughs> I don't like it. <laughs> so, it's not going to be that happy of an accident for me. So, I think I'm going to, I don't know, might work a little bit in. Now, you could, if you wanted, you could um, add, I don't, I'm not going to say I want this, but I could sh I'll show you. If you wanted to add something like right now, little, little lines in here, or I'm trying to think where this might look good at. I'm not sure I like that there, but that's okay, you know, I can come back in and get rid of some of these, so, if I don't like it, that's the thing. Not sure I want that on there, but 
sometimes adding a little, <clears throat> little, like a little depth of adding some stuff in and then you wipe it off and you're just bringing in a new layer. So that's, you know, I'm going to keep bringing in more layers until I think I have, I have plenty. So I'm going to try a couple of different things until I feel like, you know, I'm done. So... Um, See that good enough? Okay. Now, if I don't like this, <laughs> I'll probably wish I would have done maybe over here. Oh, well, I'm going to give it a shot for now. Maybe just a little spot. <laughs> Change my mind again. Maybe just a little one. I want to put a little, should I do that with the blue maybe some? Run out of room. These big canvases tell you don't take anything to run out of room. Especially trying to make a video. Sometimes you have to stand back and you think a little bit before you make too many big moves, so. Thinking. Oops. Just a little bit there.
There we go. Did you get to see the back for just a minute? Now, if you don't like something, just wipe it off. Mm. Now, if you have plenty of time, what I would do is probably dry this area, then go over here, because I want to go over there right now. But since I'm doing this, I'm trying to show you guys, give you an idea of what. I'm trying to make a decision here what. Oops, I didn't want that much. I don't know, who knows, maybe I do. See what happens. I'm trying to keep an eye on down here while I'm messing with over there. So Okay, this might be coming near a spot where I'm going to have to dry and then come back in and see what I want to lighten up, darken up. 
kind of, I kind of not sure I like this little thing right here. So maybe if I just smoosh it in a little bit. Mm. Alright guys, this is getting near what I would call the end. Um, if I don't make any more changes, I'm going to come back and show you how it dried. And then, or I may come back, we'll see as it dries, if I like it or not, I'll come back in and finish this up. I, I don't know, I haven't decided yet if I want to add some kind of lines to it or... You know, I don't know, I even thought about something like this. Hmm, I don't know, nothing seems to look so good right now. So I'm going to leave it alone and let it dry up and see how I like it then. So... guys thank you and uh, we'll uh, be back at you showing you the finished product hi guys um, this painting is now dry and I just want to show you how it looks right now sorry I'd hold it up way high but I can't tell what I'm looking at if I hold it up too high because it's 48 inches long so um, anyways this is how it dried it dried kind of I, I, I could call it done, but I'm kind of thinking I might do a couple more little things to it. So hopefully, because it is dry, I, if I don't like what I do, possibly I can wipe it off. So anyways, that's the nice advantage to drying instead of always working wet on wet. Okay, so I have some the white, and if it's not thin enough, I got some water right here ready to go. So... I'm going to just, well, all I want to do is splash a little bit on, so it just gives another layer of a uh, little bit more dimension, maybe, if it looks good with this, well, it will, but depending on if it looks good, I'm not sure what brush I want to use, I just got out some old brushes, and like I said, this is dry, so if I don't like what I'm doing, I can wipe it off, especially when it's white. So I don't know, I just, I kind of wanted to give it a little more of a, I don't know why I wanted to do this. Okay, I think that's all I want to do. All I'm going to probably do at this point um, is let it dry and sign it, guys. So, uh, anyways, I hopefully, um, hopefully you learned something, maybe. <laughs> anyways, thank you so much, guys, for stopping by.